And we're now learning that one of the highest paid officials with the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has managed to swindle the government out of nearly $1 million in fraudulent wages and benefits. How did he do it? Well, simple. He just had to convince his bosses that he was also a CIA operative, a story that the EPA bought into for over 10 years. John Beale, who retired in April after his supposed spy career began to unravel, will be sentenced in federal court in Washington in what many are calling one of the most audacious government frauds ever committed. Beale once served as a senior policy advisor and leading authority on climate change for the EPA. Beale often got away with leaving his job for extended periods of time by telling his bosses he was off on a CIA mission, often in Pakistan or at the agency's headquarters in Virginia. In fact, in 2008, he didn't show up for work for six months and told officials that he was working on a massive government project involving candidate security. Regardless, that year he was still paid over $200,000 in salary and benefits. And he often billed the government for his first-class airplane trips to London, where he stayed at five-star hotels. John Kern, who is Beale's attorney, has said in court papers that thanks to, quote, the help of his therapist, Mr. Beale has come to recognize that beyond the motive of greed, his theft and deception were motivated by a highly destructive and dysfunctional need to engage in excessively reckless, risky behavior. Now, in September, Beale pleaded guilty to scamming the government out of $900,000 since the year 2000. Beale will face sentencing tomorrow, and he has already agreed to pay $1.3 million in restitution, but he also faces up to three years in jail.